Good evening, good night, good morning. I'm not really sure what's going on anymore. It's about 10 o'clock on a Friday night. And I I, I kind of, I, kind of, I didn't forget y'all. I just, I've been busy all day. I had to work this morning and then I had a bunch of stuff to take care of this afternoon. I had to make a bunch of phone calls for just random stuff. And I finally, I just got my video done on my other channel. We opened a man box this evening. Um, and that's not code for anything. It's like literally, okay, so Walmart has a beauty box. I know when you think of Walmart, you don't think of a beauty box, but they actually have a beauty box and we've opened a few of them. I have two in there right now and I'm afraid one of them is a duplicate because I seem to be really good at getting duplicate beauty boxes for some reason. My computer's singing at me. Um, But they had this box and they said it was good for Father's Day and it's, it's the grooming essentials kit, the men's grooming essentials kit or some shit. It's a man box. It has a bunch of man stuff in it. So I thought it would be interesting to get it. It was only, it was $12.99 with free shipping and they said it was over $45 worth of stuff. It was actually not bad. It had some decent stuff in it. I can't hold the phone like that. This is my new phone. I, I was on, I spent, spent part of my morning on the phone with AT&T. Finally got the phone thing straightened out. Um, I'm still having to sign into all of my apps and everything again, which is a pain in the ass. Um, but other than that, it's, it's been a good day. It's been a really good day. The weather was pretty. It's finally warming back up again a little bit. I already did my nails. Look at this. What what color would you call that? It's kind of hard to see. That's pretty close to what it looks like. It's not purple, and it's not blue. It's almost like some sort of violet. I found this nail polish. Where'd it go? I found this nail polish at Lidl. It's C-I-E-N, which is like their brand of makeup or something. They have this nail polish and they were, it was 99 cents per bottle. This one's the, the name color, the color of the name, blah, the name of the color is electric blue. But this is not what I think of when I think of electric blue. This is not, to me, this is not electric blue. I'm not really sure what it is. But I really like it. I put on two coats, and that's with no top coat. It has a really nice shine to it. Isn't it pretty? I like it. I think it's really cool. I like that color. 99 cents. I got two more. I can't find the other bottle. I threw it, and I have two wooden boxes in there that I keep all my nail polish in. And sometimes I think there's like a, a, a black hole or something in that box. I'll put a thing of nail polish in there, and it just disappears. But the next time I go in there, it'll be right on top. It's weird. It's like gremlins go in there at night and mess with it. This was one of the other ones I bought. So the the electric blue one is ne it's CN C I N Neon Splash. Really pretty. And they also have hollow, hollow top coat. It's like a little holographic top coat. Really pretty. These were 99 cents too. And then the other one I got was like a glitter, but it was kind of like a rose gold color. Um, kind of a sheer top coat. I, I kind of want to go over the blue with this hollow top coat. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave them as they are. I'm kind of curious. That no. I'll hang on to it. I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna do my plain. Nail Aid Quick Dry Glass Shine Top Coat over the top of it. First, I got to wash my face, brush my teeth, get all that stuff done. I got to get to bed. So this is going to be kind of short. I do apologize. I am making this video with my new phone. I'm trying to do everything with my new phone. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get used to it. I don't like the placement of the buttons on this phone. Don't like them at all. I keep accidentally messing up the uh, volume. Because I had an, a Samsung Galaxy S10, that's what I was using, and the power button is on one side and the volume buttons are on the other side. The S22, they're not. All the buttons are on the same side and I keep accidentally hitting the damn volume buttons when I don't mean to and it pisses me off. I either end up turning the volume off or I turn it full blast and it's like all the buttons are just jammed right up here together. Not a fan, not a fan of that. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't. I don't like that at all. So, but whatever. I guess the camera's better. It shows off my wrinkles much better. Every camera gets better and better at showing my damn wrinkles, which I'm not terribly happy about. Can we go back to like a Polaroid or something? 
The older I get, the more I appreciate the smoothing effect of the Polaroid. <laughs> Especially if you shake it, which you're not supposed to do because it messes the picture up. I have my workout clothes out because I have a super early class in the morning. I got my tank top hanging up in there. So I, I like to lay my clothes out the night before. So because that way when I wake up, I don't have to think about it because my brain is sometimes a little bit foggy and I don't want to have to figure out what I'm going to wear. I just I just put on whatever's out and I put it out the night before. It was it, I used to do it all the time when I worked in an office. I would always lay my clothes and everything, but my clothes and the accessories and the shoes and everything out the night before so I could just get up and put them on. No problem. But I don't think anything noteworthy happened today. The only the only thing that happened, I gotta sit down. I'm gonna sit on the edge of the tub. This funny thing happened this afternoon. And I was I was it was funny, but I was also kind of relieved because I thought I was losing my mind. This isn't comfortable either. Let me sit on the floor. Okay. See, that way I can hold the phone right here and I don't have to hold it. I don't have to hold it aloft. Okay, so yesterday, I didn't think I'd get to mow yesterday because it was supposed to rain all day. Well, it ended up, ended up not raining. So I went out. Oh God, I was so tired yesterday evening. It was a hell of a day. It was a hell of a day. Charity had me busy all damn day, all, after, all afternoon yesterday. Charity takes for freaking ever to get set up, although I already have another idea for her. Um, I've even got a dress, something for her to wear, like a dress. I want to have, I want to do this thing, and I think I might do it with several of my characters, where they're, they're going to audition to be QVC hosts, and I just started thinking, I think this was suggested by a subscriber, and yesterday while I was making that video, I thought I should get her to do like a QVC audition or something, have her audition to do QVC stuff. And then I got to thinking it would actually be funnier if Carl did that. Because he can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine Carl trying to audition for that? And then I thought Harvest could could audition for it. Lynette could audition. Like they're just having open auditions. And they and all these characters kind of live in the same universe. So they've encountered one another. There have been a few crossovers with these people. So maybe they're doing like a an open audition. Anybody that wants to try to be a QVC host can come. <laughs> come audition. I just can imagine the different things these people would say at this audition. Oh, geez. So I'm, I may do that. I may have them, I may have them audition for that. Or at least you'll see a video of them preparing to audition. Maybe not the actual audition, but like them getting, practicing for the audition or something. I don't know. So I thought that would be fun. And my earring kept falling off when I was trying to make the video, and when you have nails that stick out to here, you would be surprised at the things you can't do with long, long nails. I don't know how people do it. I don't know. Like, I tried to put the earring back on, and I, I had to pop my, these two, on my other hand, I had to pop these two nails off every time to put my earring back on, and finally, I just, I just like paused the, the recording and modified them. I just converted them to use with spring clip earrings and I just took the clip on part completely off because it was really loose and I couldn't, it wouldn't tighten at all. So I just took it off and that took care of the problem. But it fell off like four times. I had to stop. I had to pause four times in the middle of that. And it really sucks because it breaks your train of thought and it's all ad lib. There's no script or anything. So it totally breaks your train of thought and then you're pissed because your earring has fallen off and you can't get it back on because you have these talons on the ends of your fingers. Aggravating as hell. I'm getting, there's a point, there's a point, I'm, there's a point. So anyway, I was really excited because I thought, shit, I'll get to mow the front yard because we had a torrential downpour last night and this morning. It rained so much, but I did get it mowed. But when I first went out there to mow, Okay, so I mowed that, the front yard Wednesday night, the backyard Tuesday night. So I went out there, I got I got the the, the reel, like I have a corded uh, electric lawnmower, and I have, I, have a, I have a 100 foot extension cord that I use with it. I don't want one of the electric ones with the battery pack, that's, that's the whole thing. I don't want one. I'm happy with my corded electric lawnmower. My yard is not that big. And the battery ones, I'm just not interested in, in that. I like the one with the cord. So anyway, because that, that always comes up. Somebody always asks me, why do you have one with a cord? Why? Because I want it. 
because that's what I wanted. So that's what I have. So, okay. So I got the, the, the cord out and I noticed I was looking at it and the end. Okay. So the, the reel that this thing is on has a little hook piece on the inside that you hook it to, and then you can just wind it up. So you hook one end into it and you wind it up. The end that was hooked into that little thing was snaked up through and sticking out the top. And I'm looking at it like, who the hell did that? And then I'm thinking, nobody could have done it. I just used this yesterday. And the building I keep everything in is locked. Like, it was locked. Nobody got in there. It was locked. I had to unlock it to get into it today. I thought I was losing my damn mind. I thought, what crackhead rolled it up like that? Why is it sticking out? Because with it sticking out like that, to unwind it, I, I had to kind of slowly manually unwind it and that end kept knocking against everything every time I tried to run it. It's hard to describe like I'd have to show you. It was a whole thing. My kids are arguing in the hall. My my older son just got home from work. So I was I was so confused, like who how how did this cord end up like this? Because I know damn well I did not wind it up like that. I know damn well I didn't do that. I would never wind it up like that with one end of it sticking out like that. No. So anyway, I went ahead and mowed and, and I kind of forgot about it. And then earlier today, I was talking to my older son. And I don't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about things that we thought, you know, something that happened. You saw something or heard something like, am I, am I losing my mind? Am I crazy? And I mentioned that. I said, I had an experience like that yesterday with the extension cord for the lawnmower and it was sticking out and he started laughing. I said, what? I said, it was sticking out. He said, yeah, I did that. I said, what? You did that? What do you mean? You didn't do that. He said, I did because I had to borrow the extension cord. He apparently had taken it to school that day because they were doing testing and he said where they were going to be spread out and there was nowhere for him to plug up his laptop and he didn't charge it the night before. So apparently he took my long ass 100 foot extension cord to school. I had no idea. I mean, I give him credit for the ingenuity and, the, and you know, the initiative, but like, why? Why was it wound up like that? He said, oh, I did that so I wouldn't have to unwind the whole thing. I could just plug it in and, and just wind out enough. I didn't need 100 feet, but I couldn't find any other extension cord in the house. I said, we have, we have tons of extension cords in this house. There are some up in the attic. There's one in the living room. You, they're everywhere. Well, I didn't feel like getting this. So he did it. I said, I'm kind of grumpy because I, I, it was a pain in the ass to unwind that thing with it sticking out like that. Because when you go to unwind it off the reel, it's like slapping around like this. And I couldn't just do it like I normally do. I said, but I'm glad to know because I thought I was losing my freaking mind. <laughs> we had, he kind of had to be there, but we had a really good laugh about it. He said, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't, when I did that, I didn't think about it causing a problem for you. I said, if I had known, I would have made you go out there and unwind it. And then I would have made you mow the yard. <laughs> so we had, we had a good laugh about that. But yeah, he just got home from work. So I'm going to go see how his night at work went and um, get some sleep myself. But I hope you had a good day. I hope you have a good weekend coming up if you have plans for Memorial Day weekend. I do not. Um, we don't really do anything for Memorial Day. I don't like going anywhere because everywhere you try to go, it's crowded. And it's just like, uh, we've never really done anything. We just we just hang around the house. And, so, and I'm working Monday anyway because our biggest client is in Germany. And it's like a regular day for them. So if I get anything in from them, I'll just go ahead and get it done because I'm not. I have an exercise class that morning, and that's all I have planned for Monday. So I'll come back and get some work done, I guess. So I'm not really doing anything, but he has turned the air down. My son comes home from work, and he turns the thermostat down. And we have a constant battle over the thermostat. I told him if he's not paying the power, the power bill, he better not touch the thermostat. If the air has kicked on, he's turned it down. Nice. I'm going to go, I'm going to go have words with my son, but I hope you have a wonderful Friday night. I've got the man box coming up on my other channel as soon as it finishes uploading and, uh, and I will see you again soon. Thank you for being here.